What is going on, everybody? It's Taylor Roberts, and welcome to Op the Deep In. If you're just joining us for the first time, we're in the middle of a Kylie Minogue deep dive where we're exploring Kylie Minogue's artistry through her music, music videos, and live performances, which means new Kylie Minogue reactions until we reach the end of her discography. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell button so you get notification of when new videos drop here on the channel. Hop on over to Instagram and Twitter. Never mind, I don't have Twitter. Twitter's toxic. <laughs> Twitch, give me a follow. Guys, if you would like to help support the channel and help support the deep dive, there is a patron link down in the description where for only $5, you can get access to tons of Kylie Minogue bonus content not posted here on the channel, as well as content from prior deep dives and tons of more stuff. So go and check that out if you got the time. And today, today, my guys, we have Kylie's third studio album, Rhythm of Love, released in 1990. Now, I've heard three songs off of this album because initially I wasn't planning on doing a full entire deep dive of Kylie Minogue. I was just going to do like the top voted albums. But you know what? You know what? I, I Since we have such a huge transition of this artist throughout her career that we have to do this full deep dive. So I've heard better the devil you know. Patron, patron, that's on Patron. What do I have to do is also on Patron, the music video and first reaction, uh, and Shocked. So those are the three songs I've heard off this album. But everything else, I've, I haven't heard. So I do know a little bit of kind of what we're going to get into. But other than that, I, I don't really know much. So without further ado, guys, let's just hop into the album. Kick it off with Better the Devil You Know. Let's go. Better the devil you know. Woo! I love the straight ABBA vibes we get with the song. Straight ABBA. Let's go. That key change. Vocal chops. Synthetic vocal chops. Woo. I love that. I love those synthetic vocal chops. Such a departure from the sound that we get on Enjoy Yourself everything about the song right we've moved more into sort of this sort of more modern 90s pop sound we're getting a little bit more of those synthetic elements coming into play here um still a little bit of that sort of classic 70s disco in the arpeggio and the four on the floor beat obviously it's a dance track so you're gonna get the four on the floor beat um but vocally different i think that's one of the big highlights of this song especially for it being the first of an album, is just the 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 transformation of her vocals, you know. Back in those earlier first two albums, they were very much more reserved, but here it just feels free and it's flowing and those key changes that she hits, especially from the pre-chorus into the chorus. Um, you know, she's flexing those muscles a bit, which we don't really hear too much of. We get glimpses of in the prior albums, but in this one, I mean, she's like... Here's the new me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's step back in time. I thought it said I want to fuck for a second. I was like, whoa! Woo!
Look at that, disco vibes. Yes, yes, yes. God, it does feel like we stepped back in time here. Hey. Hey. Woo. Hey, 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 let's go. Let's go. Man, oh man, oh man. 1990, man, the rise of grunge rock. But we get Kylie Minogue bringing disco back 20 years later. I, I'm telling you, there's, I, and I've said this the first time I listened to her, there's so many ABBA influences in her vocal in the way that she arranges her vocals, especially in the harmonies, man. The harmonies are straight up ABBA vibes. The vocal layering, the doubling on her vocals itself. I, and I, I feel like because ABBA is just so ingrained in people's heads for like dance music, especially in that 70s time, um, it, it, it just... It helps solidify that sound to just be timeless. And I think Kylie is tapped into that so far on this. And also just the sampling in here that we get too. Like the little vocal elements. Like, listen, listen to that. Even the the melody structure. Hey, yes, yes. Get it on those keys. Let's go. Something I think is also really interesting that I'm noticing here and just the structures of the melodies is that as we rise from the pre-chorus into the chorus, we seem to be getting a slight key change there. And I like it because it it adds excitement. You know, you're building up, you're building up, you're building up, and then we go into a higher key instead of staying at the same key. So it's not staying leveled out and bigger. It's staying more excited because it's like you're climbing and then you finally reach the peak of the mountain. And I think that's what's interesting about the chorus is that it and why it gets you moving and dancing is it's not the instrumental, but the way vocally and melodically she is structuring um these songs 
And, I, you know, I heard it in The Better the Devil You Know, and I've heard it in What Do I Have to Do? And it, it just adds because you're, like, building up, and then you're just, like, there, right? And you're just like, yeah, you're sitting at the top before you drop back down for the verses again. Um, and I think that's really interesting. Just wanted to point that out. Right? More some more disco. Those synthetic strings in the back. Hey. Shouldn't have done it, girl. I love this is like a ballad disguised as a dance song. Listen to the instrumental layering in here too. Talk about that. Secrets. Ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that one. That one lyrically and structurally felt like it was a ballad disguised as a disco dance song. Which I really, really like because there's sort of this sort of uh, this intimate feel vocally, but yet you still want to dance and it's like a mix of emotions. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but also something I, I talked about just the instrumental layering here. And I've talked about this before in the past with some songs, but I, what I think really can make a song really interesting and not stale just from a producing wise is just adding little things um in a in a track and it doesn't have to be the whole entire track um but just little things and it doesn't have to be huge things See, like in this one we had sort of the uh, synth keys just kind of doing a little arpeggio slightly in the background on the second chorus um and it's things like that that can keep a track interesting just you know, you might not process it while you're listening to it, but I promise you, your brain is processing it or picking up on it subconsciously. Uh, and it, it doesn't it doesn't keep a track stale with the same sounds over and over again. I, I, I think a lot of pop songs, they tend to do that just to kind of, you know, peak your ear a bit at certain times. Um, but then there's a lot of songs that, that don't, that just kind of, they're just kind of the steady... You know, let me put the verse here, the pre-chorus, and, and it's just looped out. Um, so, yeah, that's that's just something I picked up on. And, and every time I hear that, I always mention something about it. Because I, I think it's 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 a good piece of info to know, at least from a, a producing standpoint. Um, I mean, I'm not a professional producer or anything. I produce music just as like a hobby or whatever. And I've been doing it for a while and write songs and stuff like that. But this is something I just I just kind of picked on. Maybe it's just a personal preference of mine. I don't know. Maybe I don't know shit. Maybe I'm just a f loser. <sighs> Mom was right. I'm highly enjoying this, by the way. And I just realized I haven't hearted any of the songs that I was supposed to heart. Damn it. Better the devil you know. Boom. Step back in time. Let's do it. What do I have to do? Boom. Secrets. Does it get a heart? 
it's close, but I'm I'm I. It's not it's not gonna get the heart. It's close. On a scale of one to ten, it'd be like a nine, but it's not a ten out of ten for me. Huh. Right back into it again. Let's go. Bop with me. Bop with me. Work the shoulders. First thing in the morning, last thing at night. Oh, whoa. I love she's allowing the vocal harmonies to carry on to the different portions of the song. Love that. Start a little techno in there. Yeah, that calm response. I love this part right here. Choruses are so catchy, man. They're so catchy. And just the little things she does melodically just makes it catchy. That little, ah, yeah, yeah. I guarantee you the rest of my day, that little, ah, yeah, yeah, is going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the day. I'm going to be at my job and I'm going to be like working on an ad or something. And I'm going to be like, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my coworkers are going to be like, what the fuck? Oh, man. I gotta heart this one. I gotta heart it. Like I said, I love that it was the background vocals and the harmonies that sort of swooped us, picked us up like a little child and just swooped us in from the verses into the pre-chorus and the chorus and the bridge and all that. It, that carried us. The vocals didn't necessarily carry us into the into the sections of the songs. It was the backup. The backup vocals did that. And I think that's pretty unique. And also that little that little techno horn sound that came in just <laughs> in the post course i was not expecting that but i loved it so much I, it was my favorite thing about that song all right where are we at the world still turns ladies and gentlemen yes it does i like not having a chair by the way i don't know if you realize that but i'm standing up this is my first video I'm shooting standing up, and I like, I feel like free. I'm not like locked into a chair or anything, you know? I'm just like moving, and I think I'm gonna shoot all my videos like this for now on. I just, it, it's it's just so much more freeing. And when I wanna dance, I can dance, and I'm not stuck to like chair dancing, you know? Even though I'm a terrible dancer, but it's not like the chair is the problem. <laughs> uh. Uh, uh, what's going on, girl? My name's Taylor Roberts, and I'm here to put a little love in your life. You know what I'm saying? Let's get sloppy. Huh. In the Bruno Mars. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, Bella. 
that? Sexy, sexy saxophone, let's go! That melodic structure was so much Bruno Mars. So much Bruno Mars. I'm telling you, that 90s R&B structure, man. I would like to hear Bruno Mars do a cover of the song, to be honest. I think it fit like right up his alley. You know, that, that suave, suave, slippy, slappy, sw Swanson? Swanson? <laughs> that suave 90s R&B you know, vibe, Bruno Mars, but still having that sort of heartbreak, love struck song. I like this, by the way, L the the lyrical message of, you know, being heartbroken and, and not being with the person that you love anymore. But, you know, the world still turns, man. Things are still the same. It might be you that's just different. The world is just carrying on, but that's okay. You know why? Because you can always start fresh and new in a world that you're already familiar with i like it i like that i like that message let's get dirty so dirty base it hey Hey. I'm loving this build up. Yeah, just let it ride out. Let it ride out. Let it go. I love how the bass line, the bass line melody was very much felt, felt like electricity throughout the song. That little stuttering in it that it has, the, the stuttering melody, it felt like electricity pulsed into the song. I mean, it carried through the whole entire song, which I really, really like because it felt like the driving factor of that song. And then the song being shocked, you know, it's just like a little... A little play on each other. I forgot. I did not heart the world still turns. I am terrible. I am sorry, guys. I need to be better at hearting the songs that I like when I'm in the moment. But I get it. I'm just in the moment, you know? Just talking about how I feel about a song in the moment. Whether it makes sense or doesn't make sense. It's just it's how I feel, you know? I should be allowed to express how I feel. One boy girl. One boy girl. Or one boy girl. Hmm. Uh. Ooh, we get a little bit of those house keyboards. Oh. 
A little bit of aggressiveness in there. Funk guitar. Uh, uh, uh. Break it down, break it down. Yeah. He's my one boy, my number one boy. Kylie is a one boy girl. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. She ain't no player. You know, she ain't out there trying to sweep up. Sweep up all the other guys. She just need one boy. She just need one man in her life. Is it you? I don't know. It's not me. I'm married. It's not me. It might be you, though. Or not. Who knows? Does she have a man in her life? I don't know. Is she married? I don't know. I don't know. I hope she's a one-boy girl. You don't know these celebrities, though. These celebrities get a little crazy. Uh. Little Stevie Wonder in here. Let's go. I'm liking this. Woo. It just gets better and better. Things can only get better. It makes sense. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I love it. Woo! I'm hearting this already. I'm hearting this already. Oh, yes! That chorus! Woo! Oh, my God! Only get better. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. What a piece of work. What a piece of work. The beginning of that track. The build up into the overall song. It, 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 and it just got better and better each time when we got into that chorus. Oh my goodness gracious. And then the guitar for the breakdown. This is my favorite song. This is my favorite song. This, this is the best song on the album. I'm saying that right now. I don't even know what the last two are. It's my favorite song. Things can only get better. Woo! My God, 
I'm like sweating it up in here and all of these like lights I got on me. It gets hot in here and I'm dancing around in sweatpants like an idiot. All right. Count the days. Let's go. Can things only get better from things can only get better? I don't know. We're going to find out though. I dig it. thinking of me from afar confidence This one's okay. This one's all right. It's not my favorite. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. That one was okay. That one was okay. I think that was more, that one was probably the weakest on this so far. Nothing, nothing, nothing super memorable about that one. It is what it is. Rhythm of Love, last track. Let's go. Clap it up. I do like this little breakdown. Whew. Whew. Killing it with that sax up. Killing it. That one was better. That one was better. Not a heart. Not deserving of a heart. But definitely way better than Count the Days, I feel like. Actually, it very much reminds me of, like, something off of Enjoy Yourself. The last two sound like something off of Enjoy Yourself, actually. Um, it's, it has sort of that pre-90s, 80s tone, pop tone to it. Um, but pretty solid album. Pretty solid album for a, a third a third studio album here. I love the mix of genres we get in this. Um, I slowly picking it up more and more as we as we listen to it. But we got you know we got disco, we've got funk in there, we've got R and B, we've got a little bit of hip hop, we got some house in there. Um, 
very very interesting mashup of 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 elements and i it's definitely musically more diverse um a more of a diverse album than the prior two had been again those prior two were more sort of those straight sort of that 80s pop sound um with a little bit of disco sprinkling but here we start playing with more elements vocally again i think this is a vocal departure for kylie um the ability in the range that she's shown in some of these songs and the vocal flexing that she does we don't get a whole lot of that so this is brand new um with this album and i really really like that because she's got range man i mean this girl this girl can sing She's got range, and we picked up a little bit of that in the past, but here she's just full-on flexing those vocals, and I really, really love that. Again, instrumentally, I love that it doesn't sound repetitive um, throughout the song, structurally, instrumentally, right? There's little elements I mentioned sprinkled in there that keep things exciting um, or keep keep your listening peaked, which I really, really liked. Again, I personally like to do that when i'm producing a song or something like that but a lot of it's pretty solid we got what one two three four five six hearted songs out of 11 i mean that's i think that's over a little over 50 percent you know um of the track listing and things can only get better <sighs> what a freaking knockout man Best song on the album for me. For sure, for sure. I do love Better the Devil You Know, though, because it's such a big sort of 180 introduction into what we're going to be getting um, song-wise, instrumental-wise, vocal-wise on this album. Um, so it's a great little, like, here you go. Bloop. We're going to drop you into this transformation here. But yeah, I mean, so far, I think this has been the best Kylie album I know we're only three albums in, guys, but for me, this has been the best Kylie album so far. It's just, I think the the mix of genres that are in here and the way that she executes them, um, it, it allows them to sound timeless in a way, you know? Very much of that 90s R&B hip-hop vibe in some of the tracks, especially the rap that we get and um, the one boy girl. Yeah. Yeah, very solid. I'm I'm excited to see I'm excited to see where we're gonna go from here um in the next track. But guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments, what you like, what you dislike about the album. What are your favorite songs? What are your least favorite songs? Um, let me know that down in the comments as well. Remember to subscribe. Hit that bell button so you get notification of when new videos drop here on the channel. Again, we are in the Kylie Minogue deep dive, exploring all of Kylie Minogue's discography, music videos, and performances. So make sure you hit that bell button so you get notification when new videos drop here on the channel. Hop on over to Instagram, Twitch, give me a follow. I do live reactions to non-deep dive series albums on Twitch. Um... I try to do it every Saturday, but my work schedule uh, is for the next three or four months gets a little busy, so it's going to have to be every other Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so if you want to show up there, I'll post the schedule on the community tab on YouTube. Um, you can check that out. And last but not least, guys, if you would like to help support the Kylie Minogue Deep Dive or would just like to help support the channel in general, there is a Patreon link down in the description where for $5 you can get access to tons of Kylie Minogue content not posted here on the channel uncut album reactions um and exclusive live stream reactions all kinds of cool stuff on there so if you got the time you want to help out go and check that out i really would appreciate it and that is all i got for you guys today thank you for watching shout out to all of our new subscribers welcome to the otde music family and until next time guys take care stay safe and i'll see you then